What's up everyone? It's Doug the Dog Guy, owner and founder of Bad to the Bone Pet Care, and I have a very special guest today. Brenna is the operations manager for Bad to the Bone. She literally runs everything for me. She does uh, new client onboarding, she does hiring, she does scheduling, invoicing. Um, she truly does it all. And she's been a full-time professional pet sitter for years has been pet sitting and dog walking for seven years. Amazing. Yeah. So Brenna, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, um, I'm originally from Denver, Colorado. I've been pet sitting ever since I was 20. So um, it's definitely something I'm passionate about. Um, I have pets of my own. I have five cats, um, my dog, Logan, um, who's a chihuahua, and I have a rabbit too. Yeah, Junior the rabbit. He's the best. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> Definitely. Her, her chihuahua, Logan, is uh, friends with my chihuahua, King. Yeah, they're best friends. They're twins. What got you into pet sitting to begin with? Yeah, um, I was just trying to figure out um, what, what would make me happy. Um, what was something that I was truly passionate about and the only thing I kept thinking about was my cats um, and, and so I just applied to a pet care business yeah so that, that's how I started um, I fell in love with it so yeah you started working for a business down in Miami yes I started in Miami um, doing the same thing pet care and pet sitting dog walking um, and then I literally have been doing that ever since. Um, so. Yeah, how long did you work for them? Um, well, I started when I was 20, so maybe about like two or three years before I moved up here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, you applied to work for Bad to the Bone as a pet sitter and dog walker right yes. after moving here. Yes, right and, when I moved here. Yeah, and, and Brenna also worked for another pet care company, um, also in Jacksonville, she worked for both of us at the at the same time. Yeah. And then after what two years or so, mm -hmm. um, you became pack leader and then operations manager. Yes, yes. I moved my way up, um, and then I could no longer do the other pet care business anymore because I became so invested with Bad of the Bone. Yeah. Um, so now I'm here full time. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's an incredible journey, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, I wouldn't change anything. Did you think, uh, when you started pet sitting and dog walking seven years ago, could you have ever imagined that you would still be doing it seven years later and, and managing a whole business? I mean, I was hoping that I, this is what I would do for, for the rest of my life, but I didn't think, I didn't think that I would ever be managing a business um, and a team of pet sitters. Um, like myself I never I never saw myself as a manager type of personality but this has let me um, go out of my comfort zone a lot and I've learned a lot about myself while doing this yeah I mean likewise I I feel the same way you know when I started pet sitting I could have never dreamed that it would turn into a career and a whole business oh, yeah. and to have a team and every day you know I kind of I wake up and I pinch myself and yeah. remind myself that this is this is real life, you know, it's a dream come true for a dream yeah. that I didn't even know that I had. Yeah, you have to take it back to the reason on why you started doing what, you know, doing this. And I always have to tell myself that every day, even when things get hard, I'm like, well, why, why did I start doing this? And it's because I, I love the animals so much. Yeah, so. yeah, I mean, that, that really is what it comes down to at the end of the day. Yeah. What, um, what's been your favorite pet sitting experience? Oh man, that's hard to like narrow down. Um, I mean, I just thought about Mojo. Oh um, man. Mojo. So I just thought about Mojo. Um, anytime I stay with Mojo on the beach in his beach house, I have to remind myself that I'm literally getting paid to be here. <laughs> Mojo is a Rhodesian Ridgeback, six years old, and holds a very special place in both of yes. our hearts. Him and his brother, Rookie. Rookie, sure. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they're they're just the best dogs and the nicest people. Such appreciative clients yeah. that would just do anything for their dogs. And yeah. Um, yeah, that is my favorite memory. When I think that was the first thing that came to my mind. 
one of the very first times I ever stayed with Mojo, uh, they were like dredging uh, the beach in front of his house and they had this huge like machinery out in the water and they had like this big pipe going like from the sand out into the water. And uh, we were like, it was dark and it was kind of cold out and we were just yeah. running around on the beach and, and we kept playing like hide and seek on other sides of oh. this uh, pipe and it was... I, I, I don't know why, but it was just so much fun. And I, I oh. always think of that memory when I think of Mojo. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's one of my favorite experiences for sure. Yeah. What's a, what about another client? What, what's another one of your favorite clients? Oh, man. That's so hard to narrow down to. Um, I thought about Sherry. Sherry's... Um, I, I love her animals so much. She has like six cats that are like indoor, outdoor and then she has a greyhound and a lab. Um, so every time I stay there, it's just always exciting. Um, and they're all so different, like every single one of her animals. She has so many, which I love, but every single one of them have a completely different personality. So it's like you're entertained the entire time that you're there. <laughs> so um, that's another client that sticks out to me. Um, I love it when clients have um pets with just such unique personalities and especially when you have multiple pets yeah. in the same home that have such different personalities and yeah. getting to know them and figure out what yeah. they like and what they don't like mm -hmm. and that's uh to me that's one of the most fun things about what we do yeah lucy just jumps in the pool and goes swimming with you <laughs> and nina the greyhound just stares at you like i'm not going in there like i'm not going but all of them are just completely different so it's just fun to get to know every single one of them that's what, with all of my clients. Yeah, totally. What is your least favorite experience? Um, my least favorite experience is when um, they pass, when they go over the Rainbow Bridge. That is just my least favorite experience with what we do. So It's definitely the hardest. To me, that is yeah. something that when I started pet sitting and dog walking, I never uh, dreamed of of having to go through that with with a family and yeah. um i'm so grateful that you know we we've had that experience as hard as it is yeah it's it's um rewarding to know that we were able to make a positive impact in yeah. their lives and be there for them and yeah um, you just don't really think about it when you get into pet care until it actually happens and then um it's 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 very sad but you feel grateful that you got to be there for them and love them yeah so uh, well outside of that though do you have like a specific just like something that happened you know uh um, just a bad experience <laughs> <laughs> okay well it's like the the same thing at sherry's house with um with lucy um she she went outside um, to go potty before um, uh, bedtime and saw a possum and literally ran up to the possum and like shook it around and baby baby possums went everywhere and um, oh, no. so yeah that was that was a bad experience but it actually it was interesting because I learned a lot about possums <laughs> so I took I had to take care of six baby possums that were freshly newborn for sure um, overnight and was stayed up all night taking care of them feeding them the next day until I found um, a rescue who took them and, and, and fostered them and everything um, but that was a crazy experience you know it wasn't like Lucy's fault but um, it was it was interesting and you never thought that I never thought I would be taking care of newborn possums um, while pet sitting so yeah that's uh that you, you got me beat on that one. <laughs> I've never taken care of newborn possums. Yeah. I was actually out of town when when that happened. And <laughs> yes. I remember calling you at like 11 o'clock at night. Hey, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, that, that was a new one for all of us. And, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I remember Brenna sent me a picture like in the middle of the night of her like feeding, like <laughs> bottle feeding this like baby possum. Yeah. And, and I remember getting that picture and just being like, that's who I want to manage my team. They were so cute. 
Yeah. And Sherry was so nice about it. Like, oh, yeah. I, she felt so yeah. bad, but, like, it was totally okay. It wasn't anybody's fault, but it was just so interesting to learn about possums. Yeah. It's a lot that I didn't know. <laughs> it is it, it is incredible how much we mm-hmm. learn over the years, taking care of all of the different types of animals that we take care of and, and yeah. interacting with different types of clients. You know, we've, I know, I've totally learned how to speak to people, how to present myself, how to read dogs body language mm-hmm. so, I mean I've just learned so much over the years yeah yeah I've learned a lot sometimes sometimes the hard way too you know a lot not, of the time not the to hard reach way into a dog's crate ever like you know yep. there's just certain things that that you learn the hard way you know that that you know no one can really teach you unless you go through yourself yeah so, yeah yeah and that's that's <laughs> um you know Brenna and I had to learn a lot of that stuff the hard way in the beginning and that's one reason why we uh, try to put so much into training our team you know and and we really try to share our experiences and our knowledge with with our team so that they don't have to learn the hard way right and you guys know I mean that's one of the main reasons I started this YouTube channel is you know I I made so many stake mistakes for so many years and still making mistakes still learning the hard way but you know if I can pass on my knowledge in any way then you know we're all better for it yeah, I wish I wish I could have watched a YouTube channel about pet sitting because I just had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know when we when we're hiring for our team, well, that's one of the biggest struggles that we have is um, educating people on what pet sitters and dog walkers actually really do. A lot of them just have this preconceived notion in their mind of being a ten year old and you know getting a little bit of cash from the neighbor, going in, <laughs> throwing some food on the floor, slapping the cat, and being done with it and you know, that's during our, our hiring process, we have to put a lot of effort into educating people on, on what it is we really do. It's a lot more than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not just puppies and kittens all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, um, if you could give uh, advice to anyone that either wants to be a pet sitter or dog walker or is a pet sitter and dog walker, what's one piece of advice that you would like to give people? watch your youtube (laughs) watch doug's youtube that's a cop-out answer that's Um, a (laughs) cop-out oh man um i i would meow oh hello busy (laughs) hello hi busy (laughs) um cute i would definitely i would definitely tell someone like this make sure this is what you really really want to do um like do do your research like watch watch videos like figure out what you really really are passionate about like coming into this because it's not about the money at all um i think that's huge yeah yeah make sure that um this is something that you are ready to really just like give your all to you know it's hard to be like this is kind of just like a side hustle thing um because it's it's so much more than that I don't know if that's a good answer but like that yeah no I think that's, that's great the best I can think of <laughs> I think that's great you know I think um really being in it for the right reason yeah you know and and yeah. being in it to build those long lasting positive relationships with pets and their families and yeah and um you know it, it's not about the money no you know and and you really do need to know what you're passionate about are are you passionate about dog behavior are you passionate mm-hmm. about um kitties you know like yes. <laughs> the, we all have our kind of different specialties and different desires and and uh we have to be able to lean into those right right and the opportunities are so endless when you can when you get into pet care because it's such a a broad general thing that you can do if you're really good at training or you know there's there's so many things that you can can do with it but you have to like give it your 100 percent or or nothing because it's it's a lot it's a yeah. lot we have lives in our hands so you have to take it so seriously yeah what is it, what's your favorite part of it do you like doing the dog walks do you like doing the cat visits do you like doing the scheduling and invoicing i mean what's your favorite yeah i love i love just um i love the cat visits for sure um but i love dog walking too so i i don't i'm not sure what my favorite is because it's all kind of my favorite I don't really have like a specific thing because it all kind of just meshes together 
with um, who I am. So it, it's hard. It's hard to pick a favorite because I just wake up, and it is my favorite thing to do. Is just everything that has I think to do that with that is it. the perfect quote. It all meshes together with who I am. Yeah. That. I love all of it. So yeah. So it's hard to just be like, this is my favorite. Like, no, I, I wake up grateful, you know. But, yeah. 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 That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. What's your least favorite? My least favorite? Um, having to talk about money, I think. I think it's always kind of like a like an awkward feeling for me or like a uncomfortable but you, you have to talk about the money but I think anything that has to do with having to talk to, to people about money is my least favorite thing I'm, wow. not, I'm not really sure why yeah. but it is yeah. makes me feel always a little bit awkward to talk about money interesting yeah that's good to know yeah that's interesting <laughs> yeah I think um, I I did not understand how important money really was and how big of a factor it plays into building a business for a long time and so i had to educate myself on you know what is a profit margin how do we really keep track of our expenses what's important what's not important but that being said i've never really shied away from talking about it yeah i've always kind of liked you you know talking to clients talking to our team talking to different people about you know like what goes into it on the monetary side i think that's kind yeah. of a yeah i just enjoy thinking about that kind of stuff it's i guess yeah. it's just the business side of my mind yeah no it's important because like we are worth what we charge so yeah and then some indefinitely so it is important to talk about but for some reason it's my least favorite yeah i mean it can be awkward talking to people about yeah. finances can be very awkward yeah yeah, yeah for sure for sure i'll throw a, a curveball at you it's on that um on that note uh we recently uh announced a price increase mm -hmm. uh thoughts opinions we're worth we are worth this price increase for okay. sure um do you like how we're going about it yeah yeah um especially um you know with everything that comes with it i i love i love the fact that we're, we just had this conversation about um what we used to charge yeah you know what we used to charge and i'm looking through old invoices like wow we only charged this when <laughs> when we are worth so much more so yes i love um our our new prices um and it gives us the ideal client of who we want to work with and who really appreciates us. And on that note, who is your ideal client? Yeah, someone who um, has no issues with our prices. Um, will will pay us the prices, no questions asked. Um, and, and someone who um, schedules um, a decent amount of time in advance, for sure. I, I love yeah. when people um, make plans in advance so um it, it can help with our schedules too um someone someone who is really good at communicating um follows all of our policies has no issues with with um using our app um and talking to our sitters through our through the app um is quick with responses when needed um so kind of that's a broad like um ideal client for me yeah i mean i totally agree with yeah. all of that yeah all of that um when i think about like how i'm marketing the business and planning for the future i i keep all of that very much in mind it's and important. i i try to think about you know what what kind of person will be able to pay our prices and communicate and agree with our policies and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. all the stuff that you just said you know what kind of what does that person look like and you know that's where i start kind of putting together the avatar that i talk about in some of the youtube videos and and thinking about like how do we find those people you know once you've created your avatar of of what that person looks like you know how do you actually get the business and the services in front of that person and entice them to book right right yeah and it's all coming together it, oh yeah it, it's all coming together so yeah i love who we work with totally yeah Totally. What? Um, so you've you've uh, been operations manager for a while now, and like I said, yeah. she does um, hiring, scheduling, invoicing, new client onboarding, 
Um, today she planned a team meeting that we're going to be doing this week. I mean, um, does it all, does it all. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I know there are some pros, I know there are some cons mm -hmm. to that. You know, not every day is easy when you are managing 30 pet sitters and dog walkers with hundreds of clients, you know. Yeah. What, um, how does it make you feel, you know? How does it make <laughs> you feel to know that all that is on you? Yeah, well, um, I, I, for, I think um, first it makes me feel, um, it makes me feel needed and important, you know? Like, it makes me feel like um, I, I wake up every day with a purpose, for sure. Um, so that's like the, the positive side of it. It makes me, I, I feel honored to work by your side. So I feel- um, I'm honored, I'm honored. <laughs> I feel a lot of like, I feel a lot of great things. Um, and then I'm, and then my anxiety kind of pops in because I have all of these, I feel as if, I have all of these lives in my hands and I'm sure you feel the same way. Um, not oh, yeah. just the animals lives, but our, our sitters lives too, you know, like their, um, their income and their lives too. Um, but yeah, so it makes me feel very anxious, um, because I, I'm always nervous about, um, something, forgetting something or, um, you know, it, it, it can be a little overwhelming. Um, so those are the cons to it, but I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it for anything. I wouldn't do anything else. Just, yeah. So. Well, you do a great job at it. So <laughs> there's no, there's no way that I could do any of the stuff that I do without what you do. You yeah. know, I mean, well, it's. Yeah. Well, I feel the same way. <laughs> I feel the same way though. I'm just sitting here making YouTube videos. You're off running the whole company. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I love it, and I mean, I wouldn't be where I am without you, so. It's been, for me, it's been uh, so cool to watch you, you know, come in as a pet sitter Aww. and dog walker, yeah. and then, you know, you became area pack leader, and, and yeah. to see you blossom into that, and then to become operations manager, and see how you've, you've started to learn what your management style is. I've seen how you communicate improve and just there's so many things that I I sit back and I'm like wow it's impressive <laughs> I have it's... learned so much about myself I've always been a very well I still am a very introverted shy person who just has never been a leader so this has really like made me step out of every comfort zone known to man um, <laughs> <laughs> for sure but um, well, you lead by it's, example, it's helped you know, I think you, ha you have years of pet sitting and dog walking experience yeah. and that shows in the, in the decisions that you make and the way that you make them and the, the way that you communicate with our team and our clients. I yeah. think your level of just dedication and experience speaks yeah. so highly. You and know? it just and, kind of proves that like anybody can be a leader, you know, anybody can do it like yeah. living proof. So well, <laughs> anybody, I never thought I could manage a team of people and hundreds of clients. I never would have thought of thought of that. But um, you can do it. Anyone can do it. Yeah. Yeah. You're rocking it. You're oh, rocking it. Thanks. I try. What? Um, so I'll ask you the same questions about the, the management side as mm -hmm. I did with the pet sitting side. You know, what what's your favorite part about being on the administrative side and running the team? And what's your least favorite part? Um. So I think like um, on the administrative side, the, the ability to make decisions because um, previous employments that I've had, like I felt very limited on like what I could decide. Um, but in this role, I, in the fact that you um, are okay with the fact that I can make decisions. Um, yeah, I encourage it. Yeah. I highly encourage it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So I have in the past like come to you and, and been like should I do this should I do that and you're like Brenna just do what you need to do you yeah. know you trust yeah. me so the fact that um I'm able to make a lot of decisions like for the administrative side um with pure intentions um never I never go wrong um with that and I I, I love that about it yeah I love that um the cons to administrative side I mean 
um, I kind of every everybody's problem, whether it's um, a you know a client, a sitter, uh, any anybody's problem is now mine. Yeah. Which is okay. <laughs> which is okay because it comes with the territory, um, and this is um, why I'm here. Yeah. This is why I'm here. Yeah. So it's okay, but um, that is a con. Yeah. Every, everyone's everyone's <laughs> problem becomes <laughs> mine. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and uh, you know, set some healthy boundaries there, yeah. and you know. Yes. <laughs> that is another thing that I have learned about this is setting setting boundaries for sure that yeah. everybody needs to do whether yeah. you are a client or or a pet sitter um, no matter what role you're in you anywhere in the world you need to set boundaries yeah yeah and setting boundaries doesn't have to be a negative thing it doesn't no. have to be a rude thing it's just it's, it's a, a healthy thing it's a mental health thing yeah for sure that I have learned to, I've learned the hard way you know it's, it, that's been my biggest struggle is probably setting boundaries yeah. which I'm still working on. Oh, same, yeah. same, absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. mean, how many times do I call you and put all my troubles on you? I literally I mean... do the same thing to you, so it's <laughs> fine. It's fine. But try not to, like, work from, like, the moment I open my eyes to the moment I close them. Yeah. Trying my hardest not to do that. So I Definitely. try to set boundaries there. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, looking forward, uh, you know, let's say in a, in a couple of years, what do you see your role looking like within the company? What do you see the company looking like in general? Yeah, well, I, um, you know, would love to help others kind of like how you do with your YouTube. I would love to um, share my knowledge because I've, I've noticed like you, you never realize like how much you can really help someone. Um, uh, until you you come across people with these questions and you, you realize how much you really know and you're like okay I could definitely help yeah. a lot of these people who just um, just don't know and, and, and um, want to know yeah um, so um, that's that's one thing I would love to do in the future and maybe the next few years um, and then obviously my responsibility is to grow too um, within this company doing doing the same things and, and you know just expanding yeah yeah love it yeah love it <laughs> um is there anything that you want to ask me oh man putting you on the spot there <laughs> okay i mean yeah like what um where do you want us to be in the next year or so with all of like you know the price increase that is happening soon yeah, yeah. yeah i mean i i really agree <laughs> with what you just said is that i see um, your responsibilities growing, um, yeah. and eventually being able to hire you an assistant, yes, uh, to help with the administrative sure. uh, side of things, yes, and then having you help uh, more with the YouTube channel and some of the other stuff that yeah. I'm uh, starting, you know, and uh, with the company in general, you know, my really the whole goal, my whole strategic plan moving forward is is um, getting premium getting really yeah. premium you know I yeah. and uh, just really niching down and and uh, and uh, partnering with more businesses you know we already work with a great dog trainer and you know uh, there's there's so many other uh, potential partnerships that we could work into what we do yeah. um, and really just thinking outside of the box you know we we have almost a decade of, of experience growing the business and doing what we do. And now it's time to really um, test some things. Yeah. Let's shake it up and, and see see what's possible. Yeah, I mean, the sky's the limit for sure. Yeah, There's I mean, so that's... so many things we can do. That's that's my favorite thing about, about what we do is that the sky really is the limit. You know, I, yeah. I started offering boarding in my condo. Uh, in occasional drop-in visits and then I added overnight stays and then live-in stays and training reinforcement and then pet transportation and then that grew into the traveling pet care and the long distance transport and then the YouTube channel and it's it's all just yeah. kind of grown and transformed over the years and who knows what could be next right. I mean I've right. had I've had dreams of you know uh, buying like a mobile vet clinic yeah. or buying a mobile grooming truck and mm -hmm. you know I mean who knows yeah like a house for dogs like a 10 10 dogs max 
Yeah. Like a little daycare, maybe, overnight. That's, that's something that Brenna and I have talked I about. I love that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the opportunities are endless. Um, and I would love to get the, the sitters on your YouTube, too. Like, yeah. see see who the sitters are, you know, yeah. and, and everything. So I think that would be great. I see that in the future, too. Well, that can be your next project. Then. Okay. <laughs> you can go around and film everyone on the team. I'm, and I'm here for that. I'm I'll edit that. the videos. and. <laughs> yeah, you can do that because I don't know what to do with, with that, but I can definitely record people. Just something else to add to your to-do list. <laughs> I love that for me. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thanks for making the time to yeah. to talk to the, the, the YouTube with me. And Yes. Thank you all so much for, for watching, and if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button to stay up to date with the content here on the YouTube channel. Hit the like button, share uh, any thoughts or advice that you have down in the comments below. And if you are a new pet sitter or dog walker that would like to talk to me directly, uh, I do offer strategy sessions via Zoom. Uh, you can book these by the hour, and the link for that is in the description down below. I'm Doug the Dog Guy, this is Brenna, and we're reminding you to stay positive. Stay positive!